This car uh, has probably adorned more bedroom walls than it cares to admit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very dirty car. Uh, yes, this car was featured in a Celine poster, so it's a it's a pretty uh, uh, famous, infamous car. Mm -hmm. uh, this was a press car that Celine used for many years. Um, it was on Good Morning America. I mean, Tim Allen drove this car. A lot of neat stuff about this convertible. It's very cool. Um, I've been around the car once before when you had it a decade ago, I think, at your shop. Right. Um, but the, it's just got such a cool history to it because although it, it is badged as 93 number two, it has storied history before because it's marketing. This was a marketing It was a tool. marketing car. This car was used, uh, you know, for all the different promotions. It was used in the posters. It was used in the brochures. And I've got an ID tag when it was originally a 91. Uh, it was also a 92, tagged as a 92, and then tagged again as a 93. And uh, they would just uh, reuse the car, change the stuff on it. Obviously, if it was a 91, it wouldn't have come with Recaro interior, so that was updated. Yep. Um, these are one of the first generation of the Stern wheels. And I don't know why Celine never offered them with the painted centers like this, but I think that's one of the coolest best looks that the Celine's ever had. Well, and also on the other 93s that I've seen regular production 93s, because I don't consider this regular, this is a unique car. This section of the wheel is countersunk. Correct. Um, which is quite a bit different. And a lot of people, um, this emulates the speed line in a way, but it's it's a stern wheel. Uh, and that's that's very unique. I don't know. Of, I don't know of another car that has a set of wheels like this on, or came with a set of wheels no, like this on it. No. And, the, and the other thing, the car's also supercharged. Yep. So they also added a Vortec to it, uh, so they could use it with all the pressed uh, junkets and everything. Yeah, and it's it's still got the original gear charger, um, supercharger on it, which is cool. Mm -hmm. That's that's cool to see those early mm -hmm. tags like that. Um, but the car itself, I, I'm, I've been told Steve drove it daily at one point. I was told the same thing. You know? And then, like I said, it was used as a marketing vehicle. And uh, I was told Liz drove it. And there's pictures of Tim Allen driving the car. Mm -hmm. I almost kind of feel like it was their loaner vehicle <laughs> when somebody needed a car. It's like, <laughs> yeah, just take the convertible, here are the keys. Yeah. Um, the car has a considerable amount of miles on it. Um, in my old shop, we actually sent it to a buddy of ours and had the car completely stripped down and, and did a cosmetic restoration on the car and went through and resprayed the car. It had uh, quite a few blemishes and dings and marks in it and we wanted to put it back exactly like it was on the poster. Yeah, yeah, it's, a, it's definitely something that with the provenance and history, and it just makes sense that you would have that in the PAS collection. Um, the, the car though, is it, is the drivetrain, it sound, when we're moving it, it didn't sound 100% like I don't think stock. it is. I think being the fact it was a press vehicle, I think it, it might be a little bit massaged. Yeah. Um, it sounds like it's got a camshaft in it. Yeah. Um, we did not go through the motor. The, the compression was fine on it. Everything else, it wasn't using oil. So we left it the way that it was. The only thing that's not on the car now is uh, it had um, the spider cover that went on it with the windscreen. And we store the tops, like we said in some of the other videos, with the top up. Right. So that's in another location where we have the, the, all the rest of the parts. Okay, very cool. But the interior is original, the top is original, and everything else. You know, it makes you wonder what happened to the seats that were in it for the 91 before it became a 92, 93. Those kind of things pop into your head. I don't sure. know, enthusiasts out there. That's the way my mind works. Um, but it's, it's really a very unique car in the fact that... Um, it's the press cars, and it's very similar to the SC car, mm -hmm. the red one, where it seemed to transform over time. Correct. And uh, has a lot, it went through a lot of hands as far as what was being used for in marketing, um, which makes sense for it to do that. But the, the car is in exceptional condition for all that it has been through. Mm -hmm. um, the interior panels are in great shape. The convertible panels are always first to go. These back panels get beat up or cracked. Mm -hmm. um, 
So it's, it's in exceptional condition considering the mileage and the wear that it has had. Um, it is really awesome. I drove the car a little bit um, to make sure everything was A-OK -okay with it and the car, car drives great. I mean, it's nothing like driving a Celine convertible. It's definitely fun. Well, unless you, if you got the hairline for it, I get sunburned. <laughs> That's what they make hats for. <laughs> That's very true. But we actually, we've got, I've got a lot of uh, the publications that came with this car. We got stacks of magazines that the car was featured in, all the articles and everything else. And it's important as far as collectability goes. You always want to uh, have the cars that everybody saw when they were growing up or was the quote unquote poster car. Oh, and yeah. I get asked about this car all the time. Do you have the poster car? Do you have the poster car? And it's like, yes, we have the car. It's in our, our location down south. Yeah. So that's why one of the main reasons that, that we wanted you to come down and come out is we could get some of these more rare cars out that people could see and enjoy. Yeah, you're right. I sent a picture of this. It was, it's up on a lift here. Um, and I sent a picture of it to a friend of mine who has this poster. And it's probably still hanging on the wall in his room at his mom's house, I'm pretty sure. And his first question, is that the poster car? Mm -hmm. That's the first question I was about. And I, 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 I have one of the you. posters in my garage and I believe I have one at the office in, in one of the shops. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, and it, it was in the magazines. I mean, this is what people saw. I mean, there were a couple of other, the too fast right. and things like, but the, as far as a convertible, I think this is the only one that I know of that was used from 91 on. And the only, uh, you know, ad slick that they had as far as sales brochures, they had this car on it for the, the, the normally aspirated car, and then they had the red car for the SC car from the supercharged That's right. stuff. That's yeah. right. I remember that. It's very cool. Um, and there aren't any gauges or anything that's been added no, to it. No, nothing. It's just factory gauges, no, mm -hmm. bo no boost in fuel or anything like that. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's awesome. It's very really cool to see it like that. And you've, you've done a great job of Thank you. putting it back. Um, because I know there were a few things that were on it at one point that... Uh, well, it was, it was modified before it left Celine. Uh, the, the gentleman who bought it from Celine was the VP of the Celine Club, and he wanted some stuff added to the car, so it had uh, a an, an, uh, different hood on it, it had bigger brakes, and a couple of other minor changes to it, and I wanted the car back to the way it was on the poster, so we put the car when we restored it back to yeah, the Yeah, you know, I, I guess that makes sense. If you're driving a car, and I, I, I know who you're talking about with that, they, they were cruising to, to the shows and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. you, you want the modern brakes. And at the time, in the 90s, truthfully, these things were just used cars. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot like what's happening you know, in, in the modern car. Each generation, it seems like they always have this, well, it's just a used car. There's a bunch of them around. And then a few years later, everybody lights up because <laughs> You know, they're, they're not seeing much anymore. Um, but yeah, at that time, those upgrades made sense. But I, I, I totally agree. We with just chose to put it back how the, the majority of people would remember the car. Yep. Uh, yep. It took a couple of years to get the car right, but we finally got the car complete. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> been, been through that before myself. So yeah, it, it takes a while. I call, it, I call it body shop prison. Sometimes it ends up there and it stays there for a while and it can be for budget or time, mm -hmm. whatever it is. I actually but, forgot we had the car at one point because it was <laughs> gone for so long. But yeah, <laughs> but I'm glad we're able to get it out and, uh, and, and able for you to, to look at it and, and uh, let people see the car. Yeah, this one, this one's gonna be huge. Thanks for letting us see this, Mark. I really appreciate it. Yep, definitely. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, if y'all have any questions or anything uh, about this car, uh, feel free to ask. I know that over the generations, this car has been literally on the walls of bedrooms um, over the, I guess we would say globally, because that was that's all over the world. But if there are questions about that we didn't answer, feel free to ask, comment below. We'll be able to take care of that for you. Um, no, the car is not for sale <laughs> at this point, but um, you know, it's, it's one that is definitely got some high interest. So if there's something we didn't cover, or if you want uh, specific about it, we'll let you, you know, comment below and we'll, we'll try to get the answer or reply to you. So thanks for watching. Thanks. Peace out. Mark, thanks so much for having us here at the uh, bunker, as you yes. call it. Uh, really appreciate you letting us be a part of this. How can people find you? Uh, probably the easiest is through Facebook. I do monitor that a little bit quicker okay. than uh, the website. We also have a website at performanceautosport.com, but feel free to reach out, uh, try to return messages as quickly as possible. But as you can imagine, after doing these videos, we're getting a few. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But we're happy to help if you need any help with a consultation with a collection you have, one or two cars you have, help with an insurance 
uh, company. We're there. We also offer appraisals and we're always looking to buy cars. So if you have anything that's for sale that you think might be looking good on one of these racks in here, feel free to reach out. Ah, thanks so much for having us here, man. Reach out to Mark. Be sure to go to puristmotorsports.com. There's some content there. We're trying to get a lot more there. That's why we're working with Mark. We want to bring information to you all of the stories. There's a couple of stories of cars that have been rescued. One in particular is a Celine. The other one is a full on, dead on, accurate clone. You got to check it out. So go to uh, puristmotorsports.com and make sure you subscribe. Also, if yeah. you want us to come out and look at your collection or help, reach out to Bob because we're more than happy to come out and feature your collection or your group of cars. Yeah, it'd be fun. That would be a great time. Thanks, Mark. Uh, as always, whether you're driving them or restoring them, always enjoy them. Peace.